Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I just want to take you back to a video um, of Abe and Rocky um, talking about Jay's mate um, apparently was sleeping. And I've said, I think there was up to, at one point, I think there was up to six people at the property um, at the um, Airbnb, but I do not think Jay was ever at that Airbnb. Um, let's go back um, to a video of obviously the two people who last saw Jay Slater, Abram Rocky, apparently. On the sofa where he left it. Um, how was someone already asleep? Well, no, he asked me for the charger, but he's. But his mate, well, my mate was sleeping. Rocky, like, I don't even have to say. Yeah, I was. Like, I was sleeping. You're here now. Like, well, I, was, you know I, mean? I got lit that, that night. I got, I got, I got drunk. I was sleeping in the car. With that phone. <laughs> Who was lit? Outside from the street, from my well, yeah. Well, yeah. Outside, bro. What is? Oh shit! Um, on the song. I don't know what they're getting at here, but. They seem to want to get a narrative out there which suits them and they're not taking it very, very, very seriously. No one have said that, obviously, um, Rocky and Ayup, who knew, apparently knew Jay through Lucy, um, had killed uh, basically Jay. But what we do know is that Ayo and Rocky were the last person that saw Jay and knew what happened to him. Um, I think that they had to clean up something uh, between possibly the crew of Tom Hilton's and Tom Hilton and um, also Jay and his friends. I do think that it went off and there was a bit of an alter altercation outside the club. Um, I do think things escalated um, kind of quickly um, after Jay leaving the nightclub. But it's amazing. What I find is amazing is that how the hell um, did no one um, film? Because you always get uh, kids and people filming outside the club. And I bet people... Um, there's a lot of people who filmed an altercation outside the club, but are, are too scared to put that um, their video up uh, online. I do think things escalated quite quickly um, after the club, but it's amazing that an NLG festival, there's hardly any cameras. Yes, we've got some footage, but it's not um, clear, clear. Um, there was a bit of an altercation with Brandon maybe having a go at someone but the clip wasn't that long and you wished it went on a bit longer and where it materialized um could they have been hanging outside the club for a little while there, there's a possibility um but i believe there was an altercation straight after jay left the nrg festival he looked to me um uh there was a small clip of a video inside the club where he looked shocked uh and his mates looked shocked um, to see someone in the, in, in the club and I'm just wondering whether that was Tom. Let me know what you think because I think this is very, very crucial um, we actually um, get this right because if we can prove that Tom was there that will actually tell us a hell of a lot. Uh, this is part two people, um, Abe Kwasim. Yeah, they're Abe. Um, not the one that is in question. I went to the rave the night before, which was not all that because the mm, the music was a bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like house music, like pause on. Someone said that. Um, I reckon uh, Ayup and his mates were at the uh, Big Nasty uh, do then I think they went uh, to the NRG festival afterwards. It's because um, someone had a an image of possibly Rocky. It did look like them, but it, it was, I can't 
completely confirm it um, to the energy festival and they seem to have been keeping an eye on Jay. And what was the owner um, of the Airbnb doing there as well? I think that's the one of the, it was a lot older than the teens that were there. That doesn't make sense to me. It seems like to me there were a lot of people um, keeping an eye on Jay. Some people didn't think anything of it. I did. I thought it was off key because everyone was like um, watching him sort of deteriorate um, through the night. I think Brandon, I think uh, he felt a bit probably bad for Jay because I think probably because there was a lot of maybe of the enemy camp there. Um, he decided to sort of back up from it. But like I said, maybe him and Brad did try to help uh, Jay um, after the altercation um, outside, but was told not to say anything. This is where we are today. If, if you true friends, people have said to me that um, uh, Brad knew Jay over a year ago, whether he did or not, he's not his friend. Just because you see two people together, and they look close. It doesn't mean um, that a friend to me, whether you know the one, two years, three years, um, people have said to me all oh, these photos um, uh, previous between Brad and Jay, so what? So what? Brad was never his friend. Brandon was never his friend because Brandon would have said, look, this is what happened to Jay. Um, I'm going to go on out to get justice for my mate, or at least for Jay's parents. Um, so it doesn't matter. Um, just because you have voters with someone, it doesn't mean that you're close to that person. It may seem like it. Um, pictures can be very, very deceiving. I went back, just in some investigation, and please subscribe to Top Level um, because he's come up with some brilliant points. And... Uh, I had to dig out a point um, that he made, and this is kind of crucial, and it, and it stayed with me for quite a while. And I was thinking about it yesterday, and I thought, I'm just going to put it up. Have a listen to this. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, when you look at this apparent Snapchat picture of Jay Slater. When I, if you look at the just above his lips like um the tash pit there that almost looks like um identical and the hair um as well and obviously i think it was um uh, crime 11 11 uh the lady who first sort of zoomed in on this picture because everyone thought it was jay in the back of a car but it's said to be on a boat. But like I said, nothing is proven. This is all theory. But when I actually saw, if you look at the, the hairline and not so much the nose, um, because you can do so much now with, with pictures, but if you look at the, the sort of tash area, that doesn't half look like um, Tom posing as Jay which is really, really, really odd, suspicious, um, a little bit scary as well. Um, it's odd because the jawline, the tash bit gives it away um, for me as well. And I've heard people say that um, the scar on Tom's head, look, there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna say he wasn't there and uh, he's said that obviously he was abroad but not in um but he didn't actually say where he was and he's never really said where he was at the end of the day and i don't think people have asked him directly whether he was at that nrg um festival i personally think he was and i do think that this was him but obviously proving it is something else He's dressed up in sunglasses, so you can't see his eyes properly. Even his mother doesn't seem sure about this picture. There's something not right about it. What if this is Tom Hilton himself? The pictures seem so similar. 
When you look at the hairstyle, it's the same. When you look at the noses, they look the same. What if Jay Slater never really went to the Airbnb? What if Ophelia was just paid to say that she saw him? There's no proof that Jay Slater was ever there. What if this was Tom Hilton pretending to be Jay Slater? You see, even when we look at the Snapchat picture that he took at the Airbnb, you can't see his face. All you can That was the most, one of the most strangest things I've ever, ever seen. Um, people think obviously that this um, may have picture have, may have been altered, um, possibly something to do with um, Lucy, but it, it, it is very, very, very odd. You never actually saw this, you know, you go to, just say he was in Masca, you show yourselves the beautiful background, the, you know, the mountain backgrounds, the lush green grass, the beautiful weather, you know, you see a lot and it's quite sad that um, someone would go to this so far to deceive people um, at the end of the day. Um, so wicked and nasty and evil too um, at the end of the day because a lot of people sort of went with it. I did it first because I remember coming back from holiday and um, thinking uh, that, oh God, everyone's talking about this Jay Slater. I better see whether, because um, I have an investigations businesses. I've um, in the past have looked after missing people, um, you know, gone to look after, um, you know, see what I can find information on missing people all over the world. And it's interesting that <laughs> you learn a lot. And that was for a private investigating firm. And, <sighs> Sometimes you have to step back to um, have a look. But you, do you know what? I think if we didn't know where it was involved in this and Rocky, I think this case wouldn't have really any legs as much as it has done. You can see is a blanket and his toes while he's smoking a cigarette. But you can't actually see his face. Now, why would he take a picture like that? Is it possible that this is all? Just one big setup. Where was Tom Hilton when Jay Slater went missing? In a previous video, I mentioned that I can confirm that Tom Hilton was in fact in Spain at the time. You see, Tom Hilton was asked this question in a live stream and he admitted that he was in Magaluf at the time of Jay's disappearance. I was in my glove as well when all this happened. Now that we have confirmation that he was indeed in Spain at the time of Jay's disappearance, and Magaluf is not actually that far from Tenerife, it's only a boat ride away. You see, I don't believe that Tom Hilton, if he did set up Jay Slater, would have done this by himself. Surely he would have had help from his friends. Now we can clearly see from some of these pictures and videos that Tom Hilton's friends were in fact in Tenerife at the time when- 100%, 100%, whether he got there by plane or boat, one thing we do know is that Tom Hilton is allowed to travel. I was closed down in the early days on this theory because people said that he was on tag and I knew it was a black and it always stayed with me. I thought, my first thought is this was an elaborate um, um, setup. And why I think a lot of jealousy, evil and hatred for Jay. Even if Jay grasped to get um, less time, um, it still um, didn't deserve um, him dying. Jay Slater went missing. The question is, did they do something to him? Yeah, so that was it. So do subscribe to Top Level, a brilliant um, YouTuber. But I had to go back to that point um, of Tom Hilton uh, basically posing as Jay. And that will always stay with me um, because it's almost... They're laughing at him in a way, in an evil way. And they want people to believe, um, to actually question 
the public and the family to actually question in what they're actually seeing. This is what makes it off key and evil um, to me because they've left doors open, but they want you to actually ask questions, but they know that they're in the clear. This is what makes me think it's a lot more sinister than um, what it is. And technically, these people have got away with murder. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel. But there is a flip side to that. We're never gonna give up um, for Justice to Jace later. Waxed on a video earlier, and I'm sure that uh, Debbie and Warren and the rest of the family are still fighting for justice and answers on what happened to Jay Slater.